guys, it's Courtney and welcome back to my channel. So today is a long-awaited video. I'm showing you guys my skin routine. My skin routine is very, very simple and I'm going to go through every step and everything that I possibly do for my skin to keep it healthy. I guess the first thing I should start out by saying is that I've always had pretty good skin. In my teenage years, I mean, I'd have like a few pimples here and there, but they were just basically like hormonal pimples and I would just get them like on my cheek or on my chin. Last winter, I started having like really bad breakouts. I mean like really bad breakouts all along my chin and it honestly like really bothered me as I couldn't figure out why I was having these breakouts. I mean I never had breakouts as a teenager really like other than the one or two pimples a month. I mean I had to figure out what exactly to do to get my skin to clear up and now my skin is honestly, it, for me, it's perfect. Like I, I don't mind not wearing makeup. Like it really does not bother me at all there's nothing I would really change about it I went to a dermatologist really all he wanted to do was just put me on Accutane I went he gave me a antibiotic and I was just it, it didn't work for me I had a really bad reaction to it basically gave me a fever and made me really really nauseous I couldn't take the antibiotic and the next step he was like oh yeah we're gonna just we're gonna put you on Accutane and I was like eh, don't really want to do that I read all the side effects and everything that I would have to do and I have to consent for and I just really decided against it because I was like, I've never had any breakouts in my life like this. Like, it's got to be something. Maybe I have a vitamin deficiency. Like, I don't know. Like, there's tons of things that could be going on while I'm having this breakout. And they would all be on my chin area. Doing my own research, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's hormonal. I don't know. But I've started trying things to do. I mean, I've tried doing, like, the honey on zits toothpaste. I've tried a million one topical creams that you buy at like the drugstore, high-end ones as well. Finally, I have found a regimen that works for me. Oh, I should note about like my skin history. What I did find was that as soon as springtime came around, my skin cleared up. So we're going to go into all of that of pretty much how I cleared my skin or more like along the lines of I figured out what was exactly wrong with my skin. So without further ado, let's get into my skin routine. To remove my makeup, I just use my Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water All-in-One, removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. So I actually recently only discovered, well not discovered micellar water, I only started using it like two months ago. This has changed my life. Micellar water works so much better than high-end like eye makeup removers. I have Clinique's, I have lawn combs, but I've tried a ton of them, but I have those two currently on my vanity. This works so much better and it is so so much cheaper and you get so much more. This is honestly amazing and it has honestly changed my life as well. So not only does it remove your makeup, it cleanses your skin as well. So basically what I like to do is put some of this product on a cotton swab and I go all over my face and to remove my makeup, both my eye and my face makeup and even lips sometimes, whatever. I also use this in the morning as well because I don't like to wash my face in the morning as well because it'll dry out my skin too much and I tend to get some dry skin throughout the day and it makes my skin flaky and makes my makeup flaky. Basically, I just use this in the morning, cleanse it, ref refresh, and cleanse my skin. It seems to be doing the job. I'm not getting any breakouts or anything, like any bad reactions from it, so that's a good, that's a good thing. I use this product both morning and night, so in the morning to refresh and cleanse my skin, and then at night just to get my makeup off. The next step in my, I guess, night skin routine, because since I don't wash my face, in the morning, I use the Clinique's Liquid Facial Soap for oily skin. And as I said, I do have dry skin. Well, like, this is like, drier skin is more on the newer side for me. My skin has been, been through a lot. I do use the Clinique's Oily Skin Formula since my T-zone is oily and Clinique, they recommend if you have any spots of oily skin, you use the oily skin formula and not the dry skin formula. But basically, I just use this to cleanse my face, you know, get all the dirt and grime off that could be on my skin, make it feel all refreshed, and yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Everybody knows how to cleanse their face. My next step in my skin routine is to use my Clinique Smart Custom Repair, Repair Serum. It just looks like this, and I honestly just take a, like, a little dime-sized amount and rub it all over my skin, put this um, serum helps to replenish your skin 
It helps with dark spots. It helps with discoloration, redness. It really honestly does it all. So anything that, oh, pores, it helps with that too. This product is honestly like a holy grail to me because it really does change change your skin and I did have a lot of dark marks from having ac like really bad acne last year. This has really helped me out a ton with getting rid of that scarring since I really only have like one or two scars left from that that you can even tell that are, you barely can tell that they're there but I know that they're there. But yeah, if you're looking for a really great serum to help, even with de-aging, I know I don't need that, I'm only 21. But I mean, this is a great product for anyone. So yeah, this is this has been a newer product into my routine, but it's really, really awesome. So the next product in my skincare routine, I actually use this both morning and night, is my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. So this product, I have been using this since I was in elementary school, probably fourth grade. That is how good of a product this moisturizer actually is. It is great for oily skin because it's a water-based moisturizer rather than a cream-based moisturizer. But as I said, I do have some dry spots and it helps me with those as well because I do have, you know, oily skin, but it's combination. We'll just put it at that. Um, but it's really, really good. It helps my skin out a ton. And regardless if you have dry or oily skin, you do need to have moisture in your skin. Moisture is different than oil. In the morning um, when I put this on, it helps a lot with making my makeup look a lot better. So just in case I forget to put on a primer because, you know, sometimes I don't do my makeup before I go to work and I have to take it all with me and I forget something. So that's great when I put this on already so my makeup still looks good. It really helps my skin out a lot. As I get older, I realize how important wearing a moisturizer actually is for my skin. The next product that I have here sitting with me is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Pore Purifying Mask. So this mask, I actually got it in one of my boxy charms, and I don't remember which boxy charm it was, but it was one of the one of the first ones I started getting. So that was probably back in May, I want to say. This is honestly really great. I typically only put it in my T like T zone area because that's the spots that I typically only have like any blackheads or larger pores. I just wanted to throw in a few masks into my this video. So I don't do them every single day, but I'd like to show you guys like when I do do a mask what masks I like to use. The next product that I would like to talk about isn't actually like a skincare product. It's actually a vitamin. Well, the next two are vitamins. But this one is by NatureMid and it is the Adult Gummies Biotin. 300 milligrams of biotin gummies and these are for hair, skin, and nails. And I actually started taking these to help me grow my hair out. I did notice that they changed the game for my skin as well. These aren't the main component to what has helped my skin, but I figured I would recommend these as well because I do love using them, whether you wanna use them to help you grow out your hair, your nails, make your skin look better because it helps with replenishing. These are really great and I do recommend these. I've been using these for about like five years now, but I really like these. I just get them at Walmart because it's the cheapest there. Get the gummies because I'm like a large child and prefer the gummies over a pill form. But whatever, who cares? So yes, biotin gummies, highly recommend. And the last product that I would like to talk to you guys about today are my vitamin D3 2000 I use these are just like little liquid gels of vitamin D3 and these are the biggest component into what helped my skin as I said earlier in this video I noticed back in the springtime that my skin suddenly magically cleared up and I was like really this is weird I had terrible terrible acne all winter long and now my skin is clear I started thinking about it and I'm like you know, in the past, I used to go tanning in the winter for, you know, whatever reason. I just I just went tanning at the tanning bed. I didn't have acne then. So I kind of started thinking, and I was like, maybe it's because I wasn't getting enough sun. So basically, that's vitamin D. And I started doing some research then, and I found a bunch of other people had said that they had a vitamin D deficiency and they realized that was the cause of their acne. I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and take it for a week and see if it makes a difference in my skin at all because, you know, it was during like that time of early spring where you're not outside too much, so I still was having some breakouts and everything. So I tested it out and I was like, wow, this is really what caused the problem with my skin. <laughs> that was honestly what the problem with my skin was is that I wasn't getting enough vitamin D. So all summer and spring long, I was outside a ton in the sun, laying by the pool, whatever. 
but that is how that was the problem I wasn't getting vitamin D so now when I get a breakout I just immediately will go for one of these and take one and I'm typically good for like four to five days I only need one like every four to five days and that's what I realized like that's enough vitamin D for me I don't want to go too overboard because then you if you have too much vitamin D there's tons of other problems that you can have it says you can take one every day but I realized I don't need that much but these are such a big component to what made my skin the way it is now. I do recommend that the one thing I wish I would have done was gone to my doctor and had him do a blood test on things that I could, like possible vitamins that I could be deficient in, but I did it on my own and I guess that's fine because I'm still good and my skin looks good, I'm happy and healthy, so yeah. That is how I cleared my skin up with vitamin D. I'd just like to say thank you guys so much for watching my video and continuing to watch all of my videos here on my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, hit the button right here. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. And if you don't already have post notifications turned on, hit the little bell. I will see you guys next time. Bye!